This is Group Therapy. In this show we take two absolute Dark Souls noobs and let them help each other to try and beat Dark Souls 3. In this second episode we meet everybody in Filing Shrine and we face off with the Master. And there we go, as you look up, you can look up to the right and there's the, the shrine. So it's actually the building on the yeah in front of us here, the lower building is the shrine. Right. And if you look to the right, you actually see where we're gonna go eventually. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So the cool thing about Dark Souls is you can almost always see places you will go to eventually or places you've been to before. Okay. Which is cool. Really cool in itself in itself. Watch out for the dead people. Well, yeah, the living. And what's this? Broken straight sword. Ooh. So that's uh, another weapon. You can check it out in the... Because nice. even the normal items have descriptions that can tell you a bit more. Inventory yeah, inventory or weapons doesn't really matter. A straight sword with a broken blade. A weapon with no exceptional qualities. Only a mad hollow would choose to fight with this. <laughs> so... I'm gonna try and explain as much as I can, but... Otherwise, I'm gonna let you explore, because that's part of this game. That's one over there. Oh, two. Yeah. And there's something over there. Yeah, let yeah. that one come. And I'm not going to fall. Lock on. <laughs> I That's what I would do. <laughs> so as you can see, if you hold your, your shield, your stamina doesn't really come back. And he, this guy has a shield, so sometimes you're going to have to be careful about how you deal with those guys. Oof. And there are no invisible... Barriers in Dark Souls, so if you walk off, you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually something really interesting. There's not that many games that have <laughs> no invisible barriers. Yeah, there's ragdolls, so you can actually push them off if you want to. Goodbye! <laughs> Bob, what are you doing? You need to save the world. <laughs> We're pushing off dead bodies. Yep, oh, not That's going yeah. back. <laughs> He wants to be Taro. He wants yeah. to be Taro. No, he wants to uh, oh, defeat, the, defeat the ice there. beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right. We haven't we haven't killed the the crystal lizard yet. Don't forget to yeah oh, to get an arrow in the back. Because otherwise you're gonna keep missing. Uh, there's something behind you as well, I think, or not. Way too much attack. Okay, never mind. He has an arrow in his back. Yeah. <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Is it a spider? Get it off! So there's actually something funny here as well. I think it's... Go back down a bit. No. No, to the left. Here. And remember, previously I told you you can backstab people yeah. as well. If you're close enough and just attack. You can do that with this guy. Yeah. But he be very close. So... We like. need to be very close to his back to do that. Because if you... There's actually another attack you can do, which is going to be even funnier in this case. You can actually kick people as well. How? Mm. You need to attack and push forward with the stick at the same time. But you... Try it here. You can try it here if you want to. But is he going to hear me? I don't think so. And otherwise, you, that's not... Is that Just flick it in that direction. There we go. Oh. That's a kick, and you can... Oh, oh, lock on. Why are you not locking on? Or that. Goodbye! This is Sparta! <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. So he's just there for that, because I don't think ah, he even oh, okay. turns around <laughs> yeah. that fast. as. It, uh, well, all the enemies seem to notice you a lot faster than that guy. So yeah, because he even hit the stone yeah. underneath his feet, and he was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm fine with it." What was that foot next to me? I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, there's spots left and right, but I would go in first. Go straight. Oh yeah. So oh. this is actually a pretty big moment for people who have played Dark Souls One, because the main area in that game is, is also here. called Firelink Shrine. Um, oh, I wouldn't drop off. But it looks completely different than, than in this game. Because this is set thousands of years later. But there's a lot of things coming back from Dark Souls 1. Even characters that are still alive somehow. Um, but I'll uh, let you know. So this is kind of the, the hub area of the game. 
we're gonna be coming back here a lot and so those guys are all friendly so don't, okay. please don't attack anybody because you can kill NPCs Ooh. permanently so I'm gonna try and warn you beforehand to not attack everything you can see because some people are actually friendly especially that woman you're gonna need to Ooh. keep alive because she's the only way you can level up oh, okay. <laughs> can you kill her yeah you can kill her but I think it's she's the only NPC that actually comes back I'm gonna let her talk so you can I tend listen. to the flame and tend to thee. T, yeah. T for the two lords and two have for left tea. their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Ooh, level up? So you can keep talking to her or level up because she has more dialogue if you go through it. And that might be interesting for us. Passion one, to be unkindled is unkindled. to be a vessel We are souls. unkindled. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one, bring no me lifting? souls no. plucked from their vessels. Absolutely none in this game. So, she told us that we can actually gather the souls of the monsters we defeat. Mm -hmm. And we can use that to level up. So, pretty obvious souls are the currency in this game, so you can both buy weapons upgrade your weapons with that with souls and you can level up with souls so let's level up very well very well then touch the darkness within me uh, take nourishment uh, from uh, do we want to <laughs> touch your breasts i don't want to do that on the first date okay i would put maybe I endurance to 12 is not so bad so we can have a bit more stamina uh, but otherwise I would go either with strength or dexterity, but that's up to you guys whether you want to start using heavier weapons or want to do fancy yeah. weapons. Because the heavy weapons are really cool, but, but it's harder to fight with heavy weapons because indeed you're a lot slower. But there are, there are uh, smaller weapons, pretty fast weapons for strength as well, so I wouldn't put both of them up. No, I would only, I would put two points in one or the other, because it's better to skew towards one, so you can focus on certain weapons. Uh, but that's, oh, okay. I don't know, strength, strength or dexterity. Big strength. Okay. Yeah. Confirm. Things are getting dark. Maybe you should turn the light on. Turn the light on. That's oh. better. May the flames guide you. I think she okay. has more dialogue, so maybe talk. Yes. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. Yeah, we want to. The oh. mark of ash yeah, will indeed. guide thee to bonfire. the land of the lords. Oh. To Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. Isn't it here you have to put the... And talk, talk to her again. Yeah, it's right behind you. Yeah, yeah I think we've... Yeah, yeah, we've just heard that one. So usually when you meet new characters, you should exhaust their dialogue until they start repeating themselves to so you can put the sword in but you need to be at the front it's something weird because that's going to give you there we go oh, okay. yeah it's really stupid because i the first time i played this I, I wasn't sure where i needed to put it in oh. there we go there you go so now we'd go around filing shrine and talk to everybody else here because there's quite a bit of characters here so maybe start with the guy on the stairs here Another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me connections. And it have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we are talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. You're depressed. Collapse. So, uh, I'm gonna show you something funny Don't you think? that you're really gonna like in a second. <laughs> you, you can do suicide. Well, it's not really. <laughs> Just an animation. If you press the left side of the touchpad, you have emotes. Ah, that's Ooh, something cool. Like that. So, we can so that. you can select one and see what the, the character does. Test now? Yeah, just just do it. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of gestures you can collect as can well. Can you do it with the controller just by moving it? Yeah, you can do uh, 
if you do, for example, the, the shaky thingy a couple of times, I think. Or maybe you need to hold the button. I'm not really sure because I don't, don't actually use gestures all that much. You can also press triangle on any slot and check out the rest of the gestures you have. So, for example, we have the, the sitting down from the bonfire and then the collapse from uh, Hawk. Well, you can talk to him again. So he's a, <laughs> an unkindled just like us, but he's kind of Jeff. given up. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legend. Okay, yes. apparently yes. that's everything. So, if you, yeah, stand stand over there and now turn around towards the rest of the room. Someone As you can see... died there. <laughs> yeah, someone died there, someone jumped, jumped off. Um, as you can see, there are five thrones in this room. Yeah. And the goal of the game is to Film. bring the people, the previous lords of Cinder, back to their thrones. Uh, but as you can see, the second throne from the left... Is filled. There's already some someone in there. But um, maybe to just explain what's going on, in Dark Souls 1 it's explained that when the Earth began, there was only darkness. And the darkness was ruled over by dragons. So those were the, the guys that ruled everything. At a certain point, fire came into being. And a few people found um, very powerful souls in that fire. There were four souls divided over uh, certain groups of people or singular people. And the main guy uh, was Gwyn. He's uh, kind of the gold in the Dark Souls universe, one of the golds of the Dark Souls universe. And he, um, when the fire started fading, he defeated, he defeated the dragons mm -hmm. and with the help of their souls started uh, the age of fire where humans started to thrive and the dragons were mostly defeated. But at a certain point the fire started to fade and uh, there were all sorts of efforts to try and get the fire going again until eventually Gwyn sacrificed himself to keep the fire going. He's, he used his own body to reignite the flame. And that's when he became a Lord of Cinder. This cycle has kept repeating and repeating with people that tried to link the fire and those that failed became unkindled. So we are one of those guys in previous failed. age that failed to link the fire. Uh, but everybody who did succeed became a Lord of Cinder that died. But at this time, because the fire is fading for one last time, but can be revived again. All the Lords of Cinder have been uh, resurrected to try and get them back to their thrones to see if they together could reignite the flame. But all the Lords of Cinder said, fuck that, I don't want to set myself on fire again. Because that's a, exactly what you do at the end of Dark Souls 1. You can do, because there are two endings. You can uh, set yourself on fire. Um, so we have to get the assholes back on the throne, Yeah. So we saw it the, out. So we saw the Lords of Cinder at the beginning of the game. So if you turn back to the, the thrones, you have, from on the left, we have uh, Saint Aldrich of the Deep. So that was the giant black blob monster we saw in the in the, the cutscene at the beginning. On the right, we have Yorm the Giant, so the big guy with the, the giant sword. Uh, then next to that, with the swords on the throne, are the, the Abyss Watchers of Farron Keep, the guys with the pointy heads in mm. the beginning cinematic. And then in the center, we have King Lothric, which we about whom we haven't really heard anything about. And then maybe we should go and talk to him, the only guy who's already here, who's on his throne already. And so he's like waiting for the rest to come back. Yeah, who didn't fuck off immediately. So you can go yeah, over here and then drop down on his uh, oh, throne. Or you can talk to from here as well, but you can drop I down. And a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Corland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. Mm. You look. If substantiation uh. be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. Set my, thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. So as with the other Lords of Cinder, he clearly set himself on fire, because you can see that actually in his case. He looks wow. terrible, and he actually doesn't have any legs anymore. No. Uh, so this is Ludlet, one of the Lords of Cinder, who's actually the, the friendliest one. Just yeah. sat on his throne. 
five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. He's enthusiastic, isn't he? No. Hmm. Uh, don't know if he... No. no. Yeah, okay. You can oh. keep pressing X to or walk away. <laughs> I do like it about this game that you can... Uh, yeah, oh. that's another player. What the that fuck was wrong with his head? Yeah, that's one of the helmets you can uh, <laughs> find. Okay. So yeah, I do like that about this game. You can actually just walk around while dialogue is happening as well. Mm. Uh, then go indeed over there, and there's uh, you can see the the blacksmith in the back. Yeah. But talk to the woman on oh. the right first. Hey, it's Grandma. A grandma from Resident <laughs> Evil. No, Evelyn. Oh, hello. She's friendly. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Handmaid. <laughs> Weapons, what? armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. A yes, weary traveler? I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Oh. oh. Ashwan, well, so to fetch souls and bring them There goes the English. Them. Yeah. Oh, she needs souls As too. is I want. No. <laughs> So yeah, she's the, the basic merchant we have available. Mm. And she, she's the, the shrine handmaiden. So she helps out the firekeeper as well, because the woman in the middle is the firekeeper mm -hmm. and she she's actually the one responsible for the, the flame in the firing shrine, which yeah. means that she wasn't really doing a good job since there was no fire before we came yeah. in here. Um, so yeah, let's keep talking to her first. Action one. If my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Mm. So she can make new to stuff. On death? <laughs> so if we find the ashes of previous travelers, we can give them to her and her... Uh, sure. Her inventory will expand, oh. so she will sell different goods. Oh, okay. Stop laughing! <laughs> you can check out her inventory if you want. Okay. I would buy a torch. X and X. X is gonna give it to you. X is gonna give it to you! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can check out the rest of your items if you want. So prism prism stone. stones are actually glowing, you can put that on the ground. Yeah, it's... Wow. It's lovely, but it doesn't do anything. I don't think Bayou Bob is the guy for uh, sparkling stones. <laughs> well, who it's knows? Kind of, uh, breadcrumb like <laughs> <Yeah>. item. <laughs> okay, then you can go uh, back. Ashen one. Yeah, Goodbye, yeah. shut up. Oh, hey. you're the blacksmith. Sup? Read messages. So this. Did I read the message? Yeah, did I explain that already? The messages? Yeah. Mm. So those time. are. So those are messages yeah, left yeah. by other players. You can read those. It's sometimes best to read those if you want to... Well, not here, but... Master, what did he do? for hope. Well, I'll exp that's because... Uh, talk to him, talk to him. Talk to him. Just talk to the man. Oh. Well, a newcomer, well, I see. That's in the face. <laughs> I'm Andre. <laughs> I serve at this shrine. Andre. Andre and Bob. As humble smith, forging weapons. Man, he's, You're he's in been in a fight too. You're in search of the lords too. of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You require good arms. Oh, you're kidding. Let me see <laughs> your weapons. I am a smith. Such oh, is my we've got good oh. arms. Yeah. So you're a smith. Nice. So Andre is actually a character from Dark Souls 1 as well. He was the blacksmith in Dark Souls 1. And by appearances, he looks almost exactly like Gwyn. Like yeah. the god of... Uh, Dark Souls 1, uh, and that is, well, it's presumed that he's the brother of Gwyn, uh, and that's the reason why he's still alive in this I game. to say that. So that's the reason why he's still alive in this game, because he's, well, he's immortal. Oh. And the only thing interesting at the moment is a lot Estus. So you can go to that, because we can actually decide how many 
Schultz we have oh for a normal God. Estus Flask or the Ashen Estus Flask. Since we don't use magic, we can for four. now I would go for four normal Estus Flasks. Oh. There we go. And as you can see, you can also reinforce your Estus Flask, but we're going to need a special item for that. Oh, yeah. uh, but you can continue talking to him. Did somebody try to kill them all and then just went through the game with like the basic armor? Yeah, there are even guys that start out with the, the depraved uh, class, so the, the naked dude. Yeah. Uh, he has just 10 in each stat, so it's 10 points in yeah. each stat, and it's the, that's the lowest soul level you can start at. And just no leveling, and just try to, to beat the game like that. And they did. Did really? Yeah. Level 1 uh, playthroughs. Those are insane, but we're not going to do that. So, uh, I like Andre. Andre's <laughs> a cool guy. Andre! He keeps hitting the same piece of metal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait until we've played this game for 20 hours and he's still doing that. <laughs> he has strong arms, I mean. I wouldn't like to be his manager. Oh, Andre, what are you working on today? <laughs> well, uh, the same sword I've been working to, uh, on for 20 years already. Uh, Make I'll it 2,000! <laughs> That's it, Andre. Out! You're fired! Uh, well, it will be the best sword he ever made. I don't know, it's going to be completely broken after that time, I think. <laughs> if he reheats it enough, maybe. We're completely talking about hi over his uh, oh, cool. dialogue. Oh, hooray! We got hooray! Yeah. We got the hooray! Indeed. Pretty be careful. Pretty? Okay. <laughs> oh, dudes! <laughs> <laughs> that was way too close. Okay, Almost hit his nose. Jesus Christ. I can go down. Uh, yeah, but for now there aren't any... Because we're, we're going to find all the characters that will come here okay. eventually. You can check it out, but you're not going to see much. Oh, hi. Hi. Whee. So, did, does the other player see you too? Yeah. Uh, I don't, I just think that's random. I don't think you see each other. You just see random players walking around. Get your fucking skills on. Oh, I can go over here. You see the bloodstain. And he hasn't rested at the bonfire either. So he has three flaws instead of four. Um, first off, there's two guys behind you, as yeah. you can hear in your headset. So kill them oh. first. Don't keep moving further, because that guy is going to trigger. He's taking a sweet time, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You can get that item. Oh, you got an extra Estus chart. So that happens randomly. Sometimes you get an extra Estus oh. flask. So now you got four. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still don't know after all this time how that happens, but... If you know, <laughs> tell us! <laughs> tell us in the comments if you know more. Okay. And there we go, we have an ember. ember so if you, you cool. can check that out in the inventory. Because that has an explanation as well, because every item has a... What is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. And this one? No unkindled can ever truly claim the embers that burn within a champion's bosom, which is precisely what makes their yearning for warmth so keen. Gain the strength of flame and increase max HP until death. With the strength of fire, the summoning signs of unkindled become visible and seekers of embers can be summoned to join in cooperation. But beware, the embers may also attract invaders. So that's a bit more of an exp explanation what you can do if you're embered up. So you can ember up with an item as well, with embers. Mm -hmm. And if you're embered up, you can also summon other players into your world to help you out with bosses and the like. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But I like to kill my bosses myself, yeah. especially the first time, because it's just so and such an amazing feeling if you can kill them. So I'm embered now yeah. already. So you and don't need but it. But you are stronger. Uh, You're not strong. Well, your health, your health bar is bigger. bigger sorry. Okay. Go stand in the blood stain and see what it does. What somebody did. Yeah, yeah you can activate those as well, and then you can yeah. see the final seconds he of that guy. Jumped. Yeah, he probably just jumped down. There he goes, goodbye! <laughs> so... That's... The, oh, there's another boss. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, there's and and Bob, so Bob's just thinking... What? 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 What, what, what did he do? So, over here? Over yeah, you can see him here? standing there. You can there. see the, the, the guy standing ah, there. Ah, right? this one. <laughs> He's standing there for like a half an hour or something. Ah, not not too, oh. too 
Um, to get, patronize get the you, pre prepare to get your ass kicked. Yeah, because uh, he's kicked? fucking extreme. He's harder than the boss you did. Oh, that was nice. But that doesn't. Oh my god. Don't forget to heal. Oh, I killed you there. There we go. I'm still gonna add a death count to this to this playthrough. Yeah, the guy is fucking... Um... What the fucking <laughs> bullshit is this? Hey, look at that. That's me. Uh, yeah, that are your souls. Oh, that's you, and there's he. Okay, so, so no, oh, okay. Well, on the flip side, if you manage to beat him, maybe... To uh, dangle a carrot. Nope. <laughs> You're both gone. I killed him. Yeah, you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> it might yeah. work, actually. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dead. He's, if, if, yeah, he is dead. I can confirm that. He's permanently dead now. You can. I killed him. <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> yeah. So he won't <laughs> come back now. And you actually can get his weapon now as well. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Why didn't you do that before? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Because I didn't know. Because it's usually not so easy to get him off. Okay, okay that sounded way too dirty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to get him off! It's uh, really a wall, come on! Give it a second, impatient it's, man. It's, oh, there we go. So, yeah, he's so not there. Can okay, get okay, and his uh, sword is up there. And it's actually a pretty cool sword, because I used this sword to finish the game. Item... Oh! Surely? Yeah. The katana. The uchi katana. Uchi katana. So you can check out katana. his uh, the item descriptions on... Because uh, you got his armor oh. as well, but... Yeah, he wasn't wearing much. Uh, inventory? Yeah, you can, is it, is you can it, it such an awesome weapon? Well, it's good for a dexterity build, so it's, it is a dexterity weapon. So if one? you swap it out for the uchi... You can actually do that. Mm -hmm. Enable. Yeah, but you can do that. Just press X and it's equipped and go back. And I try to attack with it. So you can still do that, but it's not gonna be nearly, and it's a lot slower as well, because he's doing extra shit that, that that thing that he does, yeah. as an animation, you can get out. Okay, so it's So it takes slow. a look longer than it normally would. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So I would go back to your uh, normal sword. Is there something behind this? Indeed there is, good eye. Because it looks. Because he like was, of course, guarding something. Yeah, I mean, it's not just for his katana. We but try to open it up. We have. We it does not open from this side. We uh, don't have the key. What? We don't have the key for it. Um, but usually, when it says dead, you have uh, to go. You around. need to go to the other side and open it from that way. Mm. So there's actually, if you go around, there's also another item over there. By so the way. why was it useful to kill the fucker? To get his weapon early on. Oh, okay. So eventually you will get it because oh, you have to come back. So the guy doesn't come back when you push him off the ledge. <laughs> That's awesome. Why didn't well, you some, think of some, that? Some enemies just don't <laughs> come back. So the, the master is one of them. We still didn't read the description of the Uchi Katana, by the way. Oh. <laughs> Uchi. Where are you? Yeah, there. A unique katana characterized by the fine craftsmanship of an eastern land where it was forged. The finely sharpened blade cuts flesh like butter and causes bleeding but breaks easily as a result. Oh. So, the when you use a weapon, mm -hmm. his durab its durability goes down and if you keep it too long without going back to a bonfire, it actually breaks. You need to repair it. Uh, and then go back. And you can actually check out the armor set as well. A terribly worn shirt, men are full what? of weaving tales to explain the raggedness of their garb. My sixth sense warned me of danger, and I danced between flurries of blades, unscathed, but alas, my clothes went to, sh to tatters. So, uh, the master's attire, which confirms that that guy was called the master. And he was... Well, he was pretty much a master until you pushed him off the ledge. Because <laughs> that guy is actually pretty hard to beat otherwise. And he can actually parry you as well. And there it we keeps go. Keeps going. And this is actually a really cool sword, that thing. Because that's actually the sword of Artorius, which is uh, a very important character oh. in Dark Souls. <laughs> I love how you just. Yeah, there goes the dog. There's another item there. So that's the sword of uh, Artorias uh, of the Abyss <laughs> from uh, the Dark Souls 1. And he's uh, one of the. The major uh, knights of Gwyn. So Gwyn had four knights who protected him, and Artorias was one of those. 
And he's... There are a few easter eggs towards Artorias in this game, so that's... Otherwise I wouldn't even bother talking about him, but... He's here, so I think that finishes off all the areas around Firelink Shrine, so you can go back to the shrine. And uh, go to the bonfire. Bo -bo 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 bonfire. You can also switch controllers if you want to. Because Gustav has been playing for over an hour. Oh, really? For but he didn't for do anything. An no. Yeah. Except, except for, uh, except except for killing. All, but, uh, except for killing. He killed, <laughs> he killed, he killed Judex Gundir. Okay, he, yeah, he did. pushed the master of so the range. Yes, he did. Yeah, and we need to go over there. Wow, okay. Well, yeah, indeed. We need to go to the high wall of Lotric. You're right. I think there's pretty much every fighting weapon you can think of is in this game. So there we go. Not even a bonfire where we started. Yeah, what? Except for this little thingy. That's a, oh, that, that's a, that's a bonfire. Yeah, it looks like a bonfire, but it, you can't actually use it as a no. bonfire. I don't really know why that's there. I think it's just to indicate that you came from a bonfire <laughs> and just spawned in this tower. That's but a, this, is, this is really cool. It's a heavy door, but it isn't a heavy door. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, oh. Look at that. And it goes further and further and further. Yeah. So now we're on the high wall of Lotric. Because this is actually, because we know that from the beginning cinematic, this is Lotric. As you can see over <laughs> the wall, you can even see other areas. Oh, yeah. Under there is another building. Um, and those are all areas we're going to visit uh, eventually. Trees. So yeah. even the entire castle you can see are all parts of a different Oh yeah, I level. remember this thing. Thingy yeah, because we kind of played until this point, I think. A we little further. Uh, oh. <laughs> we played like over that part there. Yeah, okay, so there's a, another bonfire over there, so... Uh, don't forget to rest at it. The oh, left oh, stick. Wait. The left stick. Okay. So that's, that's the only way you can jump. So that we're going to need that sometimes to reach certain items and areas and then rest at it so, so you come back so here. So you come back here and then just go back. And there we go. So we have two ways to go. We can go over there yeah. or to the other side because we're actually on the wall surrounding uh, Lotric. And there's two ways we can go. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Next time, home group therapy. Oh, Whoa. what? Yeah, look up, maybe. I'm gonna let you burn the shit out of that. Cool guys, don't look at fire. Ah! I'm almost down, there are other enemies. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh fuck! <laughs>